Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today I'm going to get my food forest area ready for the springtime. Stay with us. So here's what I'm working on today. It's, uh, it's the beginning of April, weather's gotten nicer out, and um, I just got a shipment of three new trees from Bob Wells Nursery. Uh, the instructions say because they're bare root to soak them in a bucket of water for about an hour. That's what I've done, and they're ready to go. So I'm going to pick some areas here for them to go in. So here's what my shipment of trees is today. I've got a Braeburn apple. It's supposed to be a great eating apple, like a fresh eating apple. An Arkansas black apple, which is the pollinator for the Braeburn. And then I've got an all red plum because I wanted something to pollinate my other plum tree I've got over here. So the trick here is kind of figuring out the spacing and make it as even as possible. I'm thinking like right here is going to be a great spot for this. So I'm just going to move this over just temporarily out of the way behind me. And I'm going to dig this down. All right, the Braeburn's going to be the first up here. Here we go. Let's get some nice roots down here. This is going to be good. You just want to make sure you don't bury the, the root crown. And here's bamboo. I'm going to put in there just to steady this. Just until these roots start to spread out. Bamboo's not too steady either, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's a wee bit better. So here's what I'm going to do now. I've got these twist ties from the uh, grocery store and the produce department. I always grab a few extras to give me in my pocket, use for projects. These are perfect for attaching these trees to some support stakes. Just kind of filling in some spaces with this topsoil that needs it. It's not going to lay down too much. So here's the end result of me filling in the spaces with the topsoil. You can see it was like a low spot right in there and uh, over in there in the corner here. Just a little bit along this edge. And then back in there, there's a bunch. This needed a little lot. So now it's ready for cardboard and the mulch. Just want to show you guys the irrigation system I designed before I cover it up with the cardboard and mulch. So here's where it connects up to the timer, which is going to get attached right there. And then it goes to a PVC pipe. This is half inch pipe. It goes underneath the bed for this grapevine here. And it goes up and over the moon gate, that's why the moon gate's there to support the watering system. And then it goes down and it hooks into a soaker hose which attaches right there, down there you, right there. And it kind of spirals around like an S-curve all the way along the bed. I also have the PVC that keeps going which we're gonna bury in case I need to end up hooking up other irrigation later on, but you can see there's the soaker hose there. It's not buried in any leaves or anything yet. And it goes all the way over to here. And that's the end of it. I've got the same thing on the front bed on the other side of this rock wall that's under construction. I'm gonna get this irrigation system hooked back up so I can test it before I put the cardboard and mulch down. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's our problem right there. That connection is totally cracked. So I gotta repair that before I can test this now. Oh, great. I heard water, that's bad. Another leak. Oh yeah. Yep. Get that sucker out. Oh, back to the drawing board. All right. Check it out, guys. This is what I just removed. This is what happens, good lesson for you, when you don't disconnect your watering system and blow air through the pipes and winterize it like you're supposed to because you're busy. 
So, got that repaired. As long as there are no other breaks that I don't know about, we are ready to test our irrigation system. Turn this baby on. See what happens. All right, it's coming through. With any luck, yeah, some water beating up. All right. Bleeding all the air out right now. Here's the end of it. This is as far as the hose goes, the end of the system. So that's good. So the water's reaching here. It's got to get all the air out. So now I'm going to unhook this from testing it. I'm going to hook up our water timer. Here's the timer I got. The hardware store cost about 30 bucks. Just one output, one channel. So first I'm going to attach this Y splitter. That way I can still hook up the hose without having to unhook everything over here. I can use the hose for whatever I need. All right, everybody. Got all this cardboard soaked overnight and laid out here. It's time to lay it down in the beds. What I'm aiming to do here is to lay this down to block the weeds and a little bit of mulch and to keep the moisture in. So the cardboard's all laid down, guys. All we have to do is soak it and mulch it. All right, everybody, so we're done mulching. This section of the garden is ready to go, ready to, uh, to do some further springtime things. It's a huge transformation as far as the look of, of, the, of the fruit forest garden area here. Let's get a shot of this bed. So there you go. All right, got some more things to do. We'll uh, check back at a later date, guys. Waka waka waka.